All right, this is my little Myanmar generator project. The uh, engine itself came off of an MEP 501 Alpha generator, uh, produced 28 volts, so it was useless. The motor had 16 hours on it, I believe. I still have the original hour meter I'll show you over there. What I ended up changing on it was the uh, high pressure injection pump. I got one with a solenoid on it so that I could make a remote start. Um, runs off diesel. It has preheaters on it. I don't have the air filter on at this moment. Um, my fuel source is a 100 gallon tank. It's not filled to 100 gallons, but. I changed out the starter to a 12 volt instead of the 24 volt that was on there. Got a tractor battery. Some of my controls and relays I made, but I have a battery cut off. Like that cuts the battery off. So the battery's engaged. The switch is for the fuel solenoid. You can start and stop it and preheat it. This is the original controller off of the MEP 501 Alpha. I wanted to have like a local start stop. Um, here's the hour meter. It's how many hours are on it right now with the testing. So, first, what I'll show you is that it starts, fuel's on, battery's on. Uh, just like any diesel, it needs to be mechanically engaged right here. So, So it starts locally, that puts the fuel back on. I'll show you it starting remotely, and what I'll come over and show you after is there's no power, so it's not showing anything, but kilowatt shows you your hertz power factor uh, volts, and it's a 220 generator, but I have each leg. Um, coming off to like 110 so these are this is a high low heater it is at low it's 800 oh, I shouldn't have had that on when I started it but no biggie 800 watts it pulls at low 1500 at high this heat gun same thing 1400 watts at full I had that on too it's about 750 800 so you can imagine what the surge the generator head is 3,000 continuous 3,500 surge That's basically what the engine is rated for Just showing you see 1500 watts max anyway The remote start actually works pretty good I can start it from inside my brick house from all the way on the other side, but... Sorry, Riley.
surge of bolts. you have to hold that B down all the way. Otherwise, it'll start itself back up. It smokes even more doing that, but you have to make sure you hold it until the engine's not turning anymore at all, because otherwise it'll start picking up. And then, as you can see, when you cut the battery, nothing. But yeah, it's a neat little project.